Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to Business. My name is Daryl Kwao. The low level of insurance penetration in the country is expected to pick up significantly because of the introduction of a, of a WhatsApp insurance policy launched by the old mutual fund for intercity road commuters. More in the following report. Entry's insurance penetration is still described as one of the lowest on the African continent, according to Old Mutual Fund. Providing insurance policies in a more flexible way, including WhatsApp platforms, will enable many people have access to insurance at any given time. The launch of a just cover travel insurance is part of the initiative by the company. Head of retail at Old Mutual, Emil Blanche, has been explaining more about the insurance policy to Joy Business. So it is, it is in line with our strategic objective of bringing insurance close to the general public. Now, it is simplified. Almost everyone in Ghana, in the, in Ghana has, has a phone. So it becomes very convenient for anyone, anywhere, to buy an insurance policy. More so, it is very affordable and it is, it is, it is, it is, uh, it is, it is in line with our objective of making sure that each and every, 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 every person in Ghana can get an insurance cover at a very affordable premium. Not affordable, but you can say affordable, but sometimes when they mention some of their prices. So it is just three Ghana cities to take every a cover. Distance. Every distance. Every distance. It doesn't matter the destination. Mino, head of operations of a company, Rita Edubuating, is optimistic. The policy will enroll many travelers on the insurance policy. So we brought Jets Cover to the market so that every Ghanaian citizen will have at least an insurance cover when traveling. Anybody is eligible. Once you are 18 and above, you can buy Jets Cover. If you're a parent, you are traveling with younger children, you can also buy it for the younger children. The policy is likely to be on other social media platforms soon. In other news, Chairman of the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, Steve Mantiao, has accused the Jubilee Field Partners, which have Talo Ghana as a lead company, of using inferior equipment for the construction of the FPS Okwam Kuma. According to him, they converted a used oil tanker into the current FPSO Hence the challenges the field is facing in its production. Currently, the Jubilee partners have announced plans for a nine-day shutdown for maintenance work in January 2020. According to Dr. Mantia, the frequent shutdown for maintenance work on the FPSO could have been avoided. I think there's a lesson to be learned, which is the fact that we rushed through the Jubilee development phase. And in fact, if you look at the equipment we use as the FPSO, that and, and for, for which reason I believe is, it is going through all these technical challenges, was the fact that it was a second-hand oil tanker that was converted into the FPSO. Again, the engineering works on the, this second-hand oil tanker was rushed through. And so definitely you can anticipate that there will be teething problems. And these things seem to have actually lingered on for very long, and that has affected the capacity and the ability of the field to actually ramp up production. And if it shuts down, it may be for good reason. For, us, for instance, I would expect that if for as long as the equipment has been given the challenges, we will need to replace it. And perhaps the shutdown could pave the way for a replacement. And that will actually enhance efficiency in the field. That's a big deal. Someone would say, I mean, converting a second-hand uh, FPSO tanker into an FPSO. Some of us raised concerns at the time. I personally had to travel all the way to Washington to try to convince the IFC which was at the time considering a loan application from Talo and Cosmos, a total of about $215 million. Now, raise concerns about the propriety of the equipment that is going to be used as a FPSO. But these were ignored by most of the countries. I'm happy the U.S. and a few other countries abstained from the voting on this loan agreement. But in the design of the final loan agreement, Talo was asked to address some of the concerns that we had raised. Unfortunately, they didn't change the equipment. And that's it for business. Join us today continues with sports after this break.